At this point, there have been a lot of devlogs on this channel. There's um, there's been Last Resort, there's been Staff of Life, and there's been more mayhem now that there has been this Operation Ape, the newest out of the bunch. Now, the history with the other <laughs> devlogs that have existed is that they, well, they never went on to kind of exist, exist, you know? They kind of stayed as devlogs, and the games really didn't make it far. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I've had a pretty bad track record recently of <laughs> releasing games. The last game I've technically released complete, um, like officially, is Red Tactics Amplified back in January 2021? No, 2022. Yeah, not 2021. Um, so that was quite a while ago now. That's like nearly two years. It's nearly coming to its two year anniversary. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind of been a bit rough, and I, I did a count, and there's at least like 10, 11 games, um, nine of which were mine, <laughs> which were planned and slightly coded, but they never went anywhere. Um, so yeah, I want a game to come out, and I feel like more motive, not motivated, taking a different approach to this one, um, with the way how it's all kind of being organized and stuff. So this is Operation Ape. This is the next Lucky Labs game, hopefully. Um, I made a lot of false promises as well recently, especially with the schedule video and the um, which game, which both ended up just being complete lies. <laughs> so yeah, I don't want to make any promises because I'm definitely not Mr. Definitive, but this is Operation Ape. It's a top-down shooter dungeon crawler esque thing and out of all the 2D genres it's the one that I haven't done myself which I would want to do because obviously there's more 2D genres than you know the ones I've covered um, but out of the ones I would want to actually make a game this is probably the last one um, it's also probably the one I would like the most to make but I just never did don't know why but yeah so it's the Morons versus Monkeys. Um, I, uh, yeah, the, the game has been worked for like maybe two or three weeks, but maybe probably coming on three weeks now. It's gonna have procedural generation, probably three regions, five characters. I don't know if it's gonna release with a story mode yet. It might not, and do over tactics and add it later because um, well, we could just get the game out a bit sooner and it would still technically be in a finished state. So, yeah, this is um, Operation Ape, as you can see. There's a bit of UI. Um, it's all the UI that will you know, actually be when you're on the missions. So as I said, the levels are randomly generated, and this is the first region, which is a shopping center. Um, the backgrounds were drawn by me, but they're not going to be drawn by me. We kind of did a deal with Master Lord, who is going to draw everything for the game, basically. He drew the character, he drew the UI, and he's going to draw the enemies and the backgrounds and everything. Which sounds like it's going to be rough, you know, giving that much responsibility to one person. Um, but I think it could actually help with the game, because... I'm not expecting him to give me, you know, massive batches of stuff, constant. You know, that's that's fair enough. Um, so it will almost be like a trickle. You know, every once in a while I'll get new images from him and something, and then I can add them. And that will prevent me from going too far ahead and adding too much too quickly, which will prevent me from getting burnt out, if that makes any sense. Basically it's like, it, we, we kind of will pace each other. For example, if I get slightly ahead of him, and I add everything, and then he doesn't give me images after like a week or something, I might end up nagging him, and then the other way around, if I'm just not adding anything he's giving, then he probably won't feel motivated to draw anymore. So it's, we've kind of got a more balanced kind of, yeah, like motivation kind of as we're going to end up motivating each other to um, progress. And we, I've been doing these um, kind of logs as well, telling of what to draw and um, kind of a bit more of an effective method than just typing things in Discord. So 
gone through a lot of trial and error <laughs> to kind of find a system that works, and this one kind of seems to be working quite well. So here's the here's the game itself. So top left, uh, this is the progression bar thing. It will just kind of say um, how far you are through a level, and yeah, that's, that's basically all it does. Bottom left is the health bar. There is no actual health bar on it yet because you cannot take damage. There are no enemies in the game yet. Uh, and then above it is the ammo box, and above that is the, where the name of the gun will go. So the Elm Sculptures, which are the names of Master Lord's guns. Bottom right is the abilities. You've got the three normal ones, and then the ultimate, which is the bigger square. And there will also be buttons underneath those showing what keys you need to press to activate the abilities, because we're going to add um, make it so you can change your controls. I figured out how to do it. It's surprisingly not that complicated, so you'll be able to customize your own controls. Um, so yeah, that should be good. Uh, then you've obviously got the crosshair, which you can see, because it's um, dual guns, he's dual wielding, he has two crosshairs, and he shoots out of those cans, and yeah, you, do, you don't need to spam it, you can just hold it down, and it shoots fairly quickly, got a pretty high fire rate. And yeah, the way we've designed this character in the end, yeah, makes it quite easy to, for the possibility of adding like alternate guns maybe because like although it kind of looks like there'll have to be a lot that needs to be redrawn um all there would need to really be redrawn is like just just actually the guns themselves really so i know that sounds kind of obvious but i get what i mean <laughs> it's it's not that hard to add alternate guns so that could be a thing, maybe you can unlock or like upgrade your guns and there's a visual change and things like that, or gun skins, something like that. And yeah, so the guns obviously, yeah, they face where you look, which originally they weren't, and it looks, in my opinion, a lot better now that they do actually face where you look. And yeah, so there are three abilities currently coded in the game. And there's the first one, which is the otter ability. So if I use it, you start riding an otter, you notice the crosshair changes depending what ability you're using and all this simply does is give you a speed boost. Um, there might be an upgrade or by default when you run into enemies it might knock back or do damage. I haven't fully worked out what it's going to do yet but when we add enemies obviously we'll decide um, what's what. So yeah, that's the, the otter ability. I think it lasts 10 seconds and then has a 15 second cooldown if I'm not mistaken. Uh, unless I disabled its cooldown, yeah, okay. I disabled its cooldown so that I could check the going on and going off animation. Then the second ability is cups, or glass cannon as I called it. Uh, crosshair changes. This one you're not timed um, whilst you're holding the cups, you can hold these for as long as you like because you can't do anything um, until you remove them. And basically, what it is, it's a projectile. You throw the glass and it will create this kind of glass trail which when monkeys stand on it, it will damage them. And yeah, <laughs> that's, that's basically it. And obviously the glass, the main glass ball you shoot will obviously do damage as well if it hits, um, hits some monkeys. And then there is the camera ability which does absolutely nothing currently because what that one does, it basically... Um, we'll take a picture of the screen and any enemies currently on the screen will either get buffed or get nerfed. It's a 75 to 25 probability, 75 being that they get nerfed. Um, so there's a bit of risk involved in it. You might end up just buffing all the enemies in your area. So I use it, it takes a photo, and you can also use it whilst moving. But I gave it a 25 second cooldown. Um, because I don't know how powerful it's going to be yet, there's no enemies. I don't know how drastic the um, the movement speed is going to decrease, I don't know how slow the enemies will become once they get slowed slowed down, and I don't know how quick the enemies will become if they get sped up, so don't know the logistics of it fully yet, but that's okay. As for what's next, um, the ultimate still needs to be added in, there is going to be some ammo, so there'll be a reload animation thing. Um, you will be able to, by pressing escape, it will open a settings menu within the game. With red tactics and restart, the settings have been in like the hub area or the main menu. You haven't actually been able to access it in-game, which 
isn't very good because that's when you're going to be hearing the majority of the sounds so it's kind of if you want to tweak it whilst you're in game you will be able to hear um, and yeah I think that's kind of every short term thing we've already planned the first three enemies story has been formed <laughs> kind of in some way shape or form but yeah it's obviously early days the first devlog showcase thing so yeah if you have any questions regarding this epic game, put them down below. And yeah, not really much else to say, because as I said, early days. So that's it. But it's a good start if you ask me. Things look good. I don't feel like I want to quit it yet. <laughs> and I don't feel like I'm going to feel that soon, but yeah, it's hard to say. So yeah, thank you for watching. And I shall see you next week for the next Make Mondays Better Moron Operation Ape Showcase video devlog.